Hi, it's Nancy, your health and lifestyle coach, facilitator of the Power Up Coaching Program and founder of Peaks and Poses Trail Yoga and Outdoor Adventure. I am so happy that you're here with me today to practice some yoga. And today we're going to flow and twist and just kind of rinse out um, a bit of that winter slug <laughs> congestion maybe um, that we have. We're entering the spring season here in New England uh, through an Ayurveda lens. It's the kapha season and um, the rivers are flowing, right? The snow is melting, coming down the mountains. And uh, similarly, that's what's happening in our body too. We sort of... Uh, just kind of letting some things flow out. So you might notice allergies, congestion, sneezy, coughing. Um, so let's get moving today and see if we can get some of that gunk out of our body. All right, let's begin in a standing uh, pose into Tadasana mountain pose. So let's get our feet Rooted down onto the earth. Maybe lift all 10 toes. Give them a nice stretch, right? They've been in, um, you know, our winter attire of boots and shoes, closed, closed toed shoes. So just give them a nice stretch. And let them breathe. And then one, one by one, just allow your toes to come down to the earth. And just do a little rocking back and forth, forward and back to sort of find your center. Where, where can you really root down the middle of your foot? Maybe even a little sort of side to side. Just kind of notice like where you hold yourself because sometimes we're more on the outside of the feet or the inside of our feet. So try to align with that point between the edges of your feet. And let's bring our shoulders up to our ears and then let them go. Let's do that with the breath. Inhale, lift them up. Open your mouth and let it go. Again, inhale through the nose. Open your mouth and let your shoulders go. One more just like that. Inhale. And let them go. Now let's inhale, we'll sweep the arms up. This is called sun breath. And as you exhale, turn your palms outward and bring the arms down. So inhale, sweep them up. And then exhale, bring them down. One more, just like that. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And then exhale, turn the palms out and bring them down. We'll take a sun breath again, sweep the arms up. And then as you exhale, let's twist to the left. So just a standing twist here, right? Just kind of checking in with our spine. And then inhale, again, we'll come back to center, look up. And exhale, we'll take it over to the other side. Inhale brings us back to center. And then exhale, we'll take it over to the other side. But we're gonna take a bend to this left elbow and just allow it to cruise along your lower back. And maybe you can come and wrap around and say hello to your right hip. Let's just broaden across our chest and through our shoulder and then take your chin over towards your shoulder. So getting a nice stretch and release along the right side of your neck, maybe the top of your right shoulder. Breath in, breath out. And then just slowly let's release. So we'll bring our head back to center, release the arms down, and then inhale, sweep the arms up, and then exhale, we'll twist over to the right, and then we'll bend the right elbow, cruise it along your lower back, and you're gonna stop wherever it feels comfortable. If you can bring it all, around, all the way around, great. If not, great. And take a breath in here. As you exhale, let's just bring our chin over towards our shoulder. Again, feeling that broadening across the right side of your chest, through the shoulder, and maybe feeling a little release through the left side of your neck, top of your left shoulder. One more inhale here. Exhale. 
And then we'll slowly bring our head back to center, release the arms. Inhale, a big sun breath, bring your palms together, look up. And as you exhale, bring them into your heart space. Inhale again, a big sun breath, sweep it up. Now as you exhale, open up your feet, hinge at the hips, and swan dive down towards the earth. Now on an inhale, we're going to come into a, a reverse swan dive. So bring the arms out to the side, bring it all the way up, and exhale, palms come to your heart space. Inhale again, a big sun breath, look up. Exhale, swan dive down to the earth. Inhale, reverse the swan dive. And exhale, palms come to your heart space. One more just like that. Inhale, the sun breath, sweep it up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, reverse the swan dive. And exhale, palms come to your heart space. Now let's open up our feet, maybe even as wide as your mat. Have a little bend in your knees. You never really want to lock your knees. And then we'll take our arms out to, uh, to a T, so shoulder height. <clears throat> Have your palms face forward just to start. And find the backs of your palms and draw them back towards your shoulder blades. And just feel, again, that broadening across your chest through your heart, take a breath in. Now as you exhale, reach your chin up towards the sky. Let's open up our throat. Breathing in, breathing out. And slowly bring your head back to center. Inhale. Now as you exhale, right fingertips to left toes. Inhale, we return to center. And as we exhale, we take it over to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale again, bend those knees. Inhale, we return to center. Exhale to the right. One more time, inhale, we rise up to center. Exhale, right fingertips to left toes. And then inhale again, back to center. Exhale, left fingertips to right toes. Now inhale, we come back to center. And then exhale, we forward fold here. Let's take a yoga toe lock. Take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes. Turn your inner thighs inward. Draw belly to spine, and then as you inhale, try to bring some length to your spine, and then exhale, hinge your hips. Really let your head and neck go. Allow the crown of your head to reach you down towards the earth. Knees are bent, elbows are bent. Do any kind of little motion here that would feel good for your body, or stay right here, most important. Right, we're right here with the breath, breathing in and breathing out. Maybe a little head shake here. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. And then we're going to release. Let's start to walk our hands up our legs. I like to use my hands, give my feet a little massage, my ankles a little love, right up through the calves, through my knees and my thighs, to my hips, and with a flat back, breathe yourself on up. Bring your palms to your heart space, ready? We're gonna jump our feet together. And then we're gonna take our right foot behind us, and we're gonna come into a warrior one lunge. Now on an inhale, we're going to sweep the arms up. And as you exhale, again, hinge at your hips. We're going to swan dive right over our left thigh. Really anchor down with that back foot. Inhale, brings us on up. And exhale, we fold over the left leg. One more time, inhale, reach it up. 
and exhale to hover. Now inhale, we come up to warrior one. Now as you exhale, open your arms to a T and take a little twist to the left. And then inhale, come back to center. And then as you exhale, a little twist to the right. And then inhale, center. And then exhale, right foot to meet the left. And we come back into a prayer to Dasana. So just a little flow there in warrior one. So bring hands to hips and we'll take that left foot back. Settle yourself into warrior one. And then inhale, reach the arms up like an exalted warrior. Exhale, fallen warrior. Inhale again, reach it up. Exhale. Hover. One more time. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale to a fallen warrior. And then inhale, rise up. And then exhale, arms come out, shoulder height, like to a T. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, we'll twist to the right. Inhale, center. Twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, palms to the heart, left foot to meet the right. And we are in a prayer mountain pose. We're going to bring hands to hips, and then we're going to take that right foot behind us once again, coming back into a warrior one. But then what we're going to do is we're going to open up that back heel. So now our left heel is in line with our right arch. So we're setting ourselves up for warrior two. Arms come shoulder height. We have a little broadening across our hips here. Left knee is stacked on top of left shoulder. You can shift the gaze over your left fingertips. And then we're going to flow here. On an inhale, you're going to lengthen that left leg, reach arms up. You can look up and exhale. Just float right back into warrior two. We'll take a few like that. Inhale. We lengthen. Stretch. Exhale, we come right back to warrior two. Two more times. Inhale, just sort of enjoy this movement with the breath. One last time, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, warrior two. Now I'm gonna take this right arm, swing it around to meet your left, pivot on your back foot. So now we're in a crescent lunge, we can reach the arms up. Bring your palms into your heart center and then bend your right knee. We're going to bring it down to the earth here. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And then exhale, little twist over to the left. Breathe in. Exhale to twist. One more time. Inhale. Exhale to twist and rinse it out. And then we're going to release. We're going to bring the right hand on the inside of that left foot. Reach left arm up. Come off of your right knee. We're just going to take a little shoulder movement here. On an inhale, take the arm to your left arm to the back of your mat. And as you exhale, swing it around to the front. Inhale, we're just making some shoulder circles here. So move with your breath. One more time, inhale, reach it all the way up and around. And then we're going to release. We're gonna frame that front foot. And then we're gonna step the right foot to meet the left. And we come into another forward fold. And we'll take a little rag doll here. So grab opposite hand to opposite elbow. Maybe opening up your feet a little greater than hip distance. Just allow the breath to come in and out. Settle your gaze at one spot. Still the mind with breath. 
and your dristi. One more inhale here. Exhale. And then let's release. Again, start to walk your hands gently up your legs, giving yourself a little, little love, a little squeeze, a little massage to your hips. And then with a flat back, breathe yourself on up. Release your arms down. And then we're going to step back with our left foot. We're going to come into our warrior one. And then we're going to we're going to open up that back foot. So now we've got warrior two. We've got the front heel trying to align with the back arch. Right knee is stacked over that right ankle. We'll reach the arms up just to shoulder height. Feel that left hip peeling back. Nice soft gaze right over your front fingers. And then we'll float. Inhale, lengthen the front leg, reach arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, just enjoy this breathing. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen, reach up, grow tall. Exhale, warrior two. We have one more just like that. Inhale and exhale. And we take the left arm, swing it to the right, pivot on your back foot, reach arms up, crescent lunge, little smile here. And then bring your palms into your heart center as you bend that left knee and we come down to the earth. And then inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale again. Exhale, just using that exhale to rinse out the spine. Rinse out that gunk. Take a breath in. Exhale. And then we're going to release. We're going to bring the left hand on the inside of that right foot. We're going to come off of the left knee. Reach right arm up and take your shoulder circle. Inhale, the right arm comes to the back of your mat. And as you exhale, it swings in front. Take a few just like that in your own breath. How about we take one more inhale, moving that arm around. Exhale. And then we release, braiding that front foot, step the left foot to meet the right, and forward fold. Now inhale, bend your knees as you exhale. Draw belly to spine and slowly, slowly, slowly start to roll yourself on up. Inhale, the sun breath, sweep it up. Exhale, palms come to your heart space. Let's heel toe our feet out. Bend your knees. Bring your bum down to the earth. Now, yeah, we're going to come all the way down to the earth. And we're going to bring our feet hip distance apart. You're going to hold on to your hamstrings, draw your belly to spine, and just slowly roll yourself down onto the earth. Draw your knees in. Give yourself a nice big hug. And let's just rotate our ankles around in one direction. And then the other. And then we're going to start to move our hips in some circles. So our knees are going to come in and they're going to go out. And then you're going to move them in the other direction. Trying to warm up all of the joints in our body. And then we're going to bring the, the, uh, the right foot down. We're going to draw the left knee in. Then you're going to lengthen out that right leg, coming into Apanasana, wind relieving pose. And take a breath in here. Now as you exhale, switch knees and legs, bringing your right knee in. Breath or two here. 
And then inhale. Now as you exhale, let's switch. Take a breath in. As you exhale, switching right knee in. One more inhale. Exhale, we'll switch left knee, comes in, right leg extends. And then one last inhale here. And then exhale, switching knees. Right knee comes in, left leg long. And then we release the right knee. We've got one last pose. Our feet are flat, about hip distance apart. We're gonna open up our arms to a T. And then we're just gonna start to move our knees from side to side, lifting up that opposite hip, trying to root down with your shoulder blades. bringing some freedom to the spine. And then we're gonna bring the knees into center and we'll take a breath in. And as you exhale, we'll allow the knees to fall to the right. Shift the gaze over to the left. Finding the backs of your shoulders rooting down. Inhale, exhale. And then we'll bring our head back to center. Inhale, brings our knees back onto center. And as you exhale, we'll take the knees over to the other side, shifting the gaze over to the right. Just allowing whatever part of your body is touching the earth to really surrender, to feel the support. As you inhale, just feel your spine lengthening. And as you exhale, just feeling some release. And then we'll bring our knees back to center. Draw them in. Let's give ourselves one last hug as we make some circles on our lower back. Maybe moving in the other direction. And then we'll come back to center. Hold on to your hamstrings. Rock and roll yourself a few times. Forward and back. And then we'll bring ourselves back on up. We'll find a comfortable seated pose. Bringing your palms into your heart space. And just close your eyes here. Give your chin a little tuck. And bring your forehead down towards your fingertips. And just allow your ego to bow to the beauty that's in your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoy this flow and this twist and um, have yourself a beautiful day. Don't forget to check me out, peaksandposes.com. I've got some great events always happening and I hope to see you soon. Oh, don't forget, give me a thumbs up if you liked my, the practice today. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not, and please share. Bye now.